John Mary. John, John Street and William Street. They have is the image of I know it. I need to go and get cherries. What if they have it and then it's going to pop slow? Sure. 
его. favorite choice. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I was me walking around the store. I don't know. I think, I think they knew I was filming. Filming. Like I'm, like I'm actually a filmmaker. I feel like one of them. It's pretty cool. It's amazing the way that thing adjusts. I'm not using, I'm using the 5 megapixel though. I'm not using the 13 megapixel. Let me see, where the hell ever shall I sit? Make sure my bike is still there. Okay, good. This thing I like about the hard. The hard coming far. Looking buildings they don't even look like New York. It's like another city. Like I'm in V spot. <laughs> look at that. Just killer architecture. Yeah. Oh, too bad you can't hear that thing. That thing sounds kick ass. Sounds like music, that Harley. Let's see if I can get this. I can't believe this is New York, though. I can't stop that building with the green top there against this one. Wow. I swear to God, it don't look like New York. Look at that, that little thing on the top there. This looks kind of cool, actually. Let's see. Yeah, so when you come to New York, whoever's viewing this, if you're not in New York, Really beautiful views. This is this isn't even the half of it down here. Uh, I'm not. I don't feel quite as embarrassed about New York as I used to. Like when I go to London or other countries, or to meet a team, a team of cleaners, I need to do something innovative. You can like hire, like get those. Um, a Google or Coca-Cola or some crap like that to um, to advertise. Let them advertise all they want, but you know, then they can hire people to clean up that hell. Wasn't well, as many people here a minute ago, uh, but um, but yeah, that's the only bad part. I haven't been to Switzerland in a while. But I remember when I was there. Clean, 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 clean. I think Germany also. I think that was Germany. We went on tours and things like that. And I remember my mom was like a kid. I think it must have been like 13 or something. And, um, hanging out. And uh, you can just like look straight up. Well, let me see, what am I, 10 minutes now? Okay, I have nothing mean to say <laughs> or rant about. So, but, um, but yeah. Let's see, that building looks beautiful though. Let's see, it's got some staring at me there. Like it's not, kind of frightening. Sometimes it's like that Seinfeld show. People, they're not even thinking about you. Which is really a lot better than when they are thinking about you. You know, 
especially, I mean, you don't want people to say like, not say, but think like sick things. Look at that mural there, hidden. I tell you, they're really cleaning this damn city up. It's not that bad. It's, it's, you know, so I'm gonna have my, my red bully. This is a big bitch. I rode here from Brooklyn all the way from Manhattan. I mean, from Brooklyn all the way to Manhattan. Let me see. I think the straw is too short. Oh, that building. But yeah, I should have brought my headpiece. Um, it, it takes a lot of nerve to ride around with that damn thing. Oh good, I know another place to go to the restroom. I used to go to JNR Music World. <laughs> but uh, crap, I can't believe, has it been that long? I could have sworn I went to JNR Music World after 9-11. It had to be. So I remember buying crap. So I walked by there yesterday, and they're definitely not there. <sighs> wow, that, that, that hit the spot. I've never, it feels like it loosened something up. I think I might have to go to the restroom one last time now. The 59 Maiden Lane. Maiden Lane. Where the hell have I heard that before? Look at this damn place. Looks like looks like one of those British buildings. Well, I mean it should. That's who we are. <laughs> In America, we're the Brits. I think, uh, what, what show was I watching? I'm not sure if it was Jimmy Kimmel or uh, somebody, about either Channel 7 guy or the Channel 4 guy that comes on at 11.30. Definitely wasn't the Channel 2 guy. I think it might have been Kimmel that I was watching him saying that he noticed a lot of British uh, moving into New York or America, I'm not sure if it was New York or America, and they said that um, they're, they're going to take back the country. It's like a plot. Yeah, so I have to ride down here around Wall Street up to, where the hell do I have to go? Up to some damn place. up to 42nd Street. I'd really rather go home, but it's, it's disgusting. I have to clean up. Crap. I desperately need to clean up. Oh shit. I think I just lost my straw. Yeah, I bought a... I wanted to, that curry chicken look delicious. I haven't seen that stuff. I used to go to this place on, what the hell was that, 34th Street and 10th Avenue, right on the corner there. It hit me a 40 and uh, two of those little bottles of uh, vodka or uh, Bacardi. I forgot the size of it. I'm not sure if it's a fifth or what, but uh, I remember I got this, this bottle of uh, tequila, a Mexican tequila. I think it was, what the hell's the name of that? Swervo or some crap like that? It wasn't like Jose Swervo. This, this tequila was so effing smooth. I was savoring it. I had like the little bottle I've never seen. It almost looked like, kind of like a genie bottle, but it was flat. You know, instead of like a round, you know, like I dream of genie, but kind of that shape, but only flat. Oh shit, I'm about to lose my car. How you doing? 
Let's see. But yeah. Um, yep, yep, yep. What the hell? Well, I hope that mango's good. I haven't gotten a good mango in, in about a thousand years. That's what it feels like. Every time I get one, either it's too hard, has no taste, or it's too soft. Oh crap, there are people up there. There's a damn scaffold. I don't know. I, I don't think I can pick it up though. I mean, it's what kind of angle I can. You can like see the bottom of it, kind of underneath the triangle. It's like you know, it doesn't have. I can't get the contrast from this angle because wow, the it's like the the white balance on the camera is really something else. But, um, I'm hoping I used to ride in Manhattan. I remember when I was a kid, when I was like 13, which is like five years ago, I, um, uh, ride into Central Park. I remember I was beat when I got home, but it was wonderful, though. It, it wasn't like, t I, didn't, I didn't get tired the way I get tired now, because I was tired as crap. I think I rode up there with no money. It must have, I think that's about 10 miles each way, maybe a little more. But I think, you know. Plus, I rode around the park also, which probably put, it must, must have been maybe another three to five miles riding around it. But, um, I my mom bought me a new bike from the department store. It was kick-ass. I forgot what the Oh, I know what happened. I let my dumbass friend ride it. Let me see. The dumb bastard couldn't stop and hit a car. I hope they made him pay for it. But he probably didn't do any damage. So he brings my bike back in pieces. I'll never forget that. So I told him to go fuck himself. The bastard couldn't get killed. It was to make it exciting. Yeah, because I changed it to a fix. I don't know why I changed it to a fix. I think something, maybe the, the gears or the derailers broke or some crap like that. But um, yeah, it's not bad out here today. I just realized it's not like viciously, viciously hot. And they say it's supposed to be like, I don't know, last week they were saying it's supposed to be like 93. Then I saw, like a, on Channel 5, I'm not sure if it was the same day. It's supposed to be 90. And then, or the next day, last week, then the next day after that, it was supposed to be, what the hell was it supposed to be? Oh, 87, I think I saw yesterday or Sunday, some crap like that. But uh, it's bitching out here, I don't want to move. <sighs> I'm so beat though, let me tell you. Trying to lose my big fat stomach, but um, but I don't want to lose weight too fast because I don't want stretch marks on my butt. <sighs> was, you know, I remember getting them one time. I remember getting stretch marks like on my, you know, around my underarms. I said, "Wow, I didn't know I was that fat." But at the time. Like I was fat. Oh, look at that. Is that damn thing going for the World Trade Center again? There's a plane that just flew by. I didn't know planes could fly that close. It looked like a private jet, though. It might be going to Teterboro. I don't know. I thought Teterboro was southbound. Or maybe it left Teterboro. Well, it should have hit by now. So I guess it should be safe. Unless it was going for another building. It was going for that expensive building on 59th Street. You said, ah, what the hell? <laughs> Plus, the plane isn't big enough to do damage anymore. Ah, that was pretty good. I'm surprised. I, I must be really tired. I know, my pee is always yellow, though. So, I'm not doing too well with this whole pee stuff thing. And, um, uh, well, you know, I. I Usually I would be craving beer and alcohol. I'm really, I'm, I'm glad I'm not. I'm hoping because I, I feel like a damn alcoholic. <laughs> I didn't think I was. I really don't like getting drunk that often because I don't want to become an alcoholic. 
this, I think I, I get all liquored up at least like once a month, or probably even less than that. <sighs> I am a little Debbie's a holic, though. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to have to sue them for making me fat. I know those bastards put something in that to make you crave it, because I can't stop drinking that crap or eating it. Maybe that's what I should do. I should, like, do it in a, uh, in a, in a smoothie, <laughs> a Little Debbie smoothie. <laughs> that would be kick-ass. Well, I should, maybe I should make those Little Debbie smoothies with, um, with ice cream. But, you know, <laughs> it'll be the opposite of what everybody... Well, look at this guy. He looks really cool. No, I think I... Actually, no, you can't see the pinstripes. His, 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 um, his shoes are clicking. But, um, yeah, I think... Let me see. I can, can I see my reflection? No, I can't. Sometimes I can see my reflection. I've been wearing... I keep forgetting I got this damn bandana wrapped around my forehead. Look like a gang member. I'm, I'm too, uh... But I'm not sweating now, though. I wonder if it's the bandana, because it was full of sweat, and then it started holding water. Let me see. I wonder what time it is. I have to turn the video off if I check the time now. No, I don't want to part with my can. I don't want to part with my aluminum. I paid for it. It's mine. So, um, yeah. <sighs> Am I just pointing at the same thing? Yeah, I gotta get something else to look at when I'm doing those Formula One videos, though. Because my room looks like a room of a child. Well, I guess it's fitting. I am a child. I'm only... I'm still a teen. So what do you, what do they call you, like, when you're between, a, you know, before you're 13, but you're not, like, 10 or 11 anymore? I'm not sure what tween covers. <laughs> I remember the first time they came out with that. So am I a tween again? Can you be a tween twice? This is my second time as a tween, because I'm, 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 I'm over 18, but I'm not past 19. So, like, between 19 and 21, are you a tween again? So, I got to be a tween again. Although it's just an old-ass, an old-ass tween. I'm an old-ass tween instead of a young-ass tween. I wonder how long I should sit out here. You think? Maybe I'll just sit out here until winter. That would be cool. Pretty nice space. It's good that they opened up these spaces. That's another thing they're trying to do, I notice, in New York. Opening spaces. I was always thinking, you know, like, when tourists come here, they say they are like 46 million tourists come here, something like that, every year. They come to see the, uh, they say a lot of them come to see the memorial, you know, where the terrorists took down the buildings. They come to see a graveyard. These people are pretty sick. <laughs> I tell you. People are messed up in the head, man. But I wouldn't want to go to a damn country to see a damn graveyard. <sighs> well, humans, and, but, but eh, I don't know. We've been doing this for millions of years, though. I'm going to go on my rant again. But I, I still can't remember what the hell I was talking about. When I was thinking about... I tell you, you know, I was just thinking... I got my bike parked over there. Every time I think about Manhattan, you know, I, I usually don't ride the bike in Manhattan. I usually walk around Manhattan. But my sides are killing me. Now. I don't know why the hell my sides are killing me whenever I walk. And I, I notice when I hop on the bike, though, then it stops. It goes away a little. I'm wondering if it's because my stomach's too damn fat, though. And then it's like dragging down. They say it drags on your body. You know, so when you not uh, yeah on your back, if you have a big fat stomach, so this is why I can never eat again. Although, and I forget every time I go and look at that contrast, the lights. You can see like the lights. It's it's really not that dark, but it makes it look cool. Well, you can see the reflection. It looks like it's actually painted on that column. The reflection. It actually looks better 
and the damn camera. It's amazing the way how sharp it is. When you look at it in real life, it's not that sharp. But, um, but I mean, you know, say what you want about these crazy ass Europeans, but uh, you know, they just murder themselves. But they do, they do bring, they do make some good shit. You know, this is really cool. These buildings. I guess maybe it's the intensity, you know, you bring the brain, the human brain to a new level and um, without all that murdering, <laughs> they wouldn't be able to do this, you know, because they wouldn't bring the brain up to these viciously intense levels, you know, it's like because nobody else can do this stuff, you know, you go to China, Africa, the Middle East, you know, even the Russians suck at this, you know, I guess they haven't been murdering each other on a regular basis, you know, the way the, uh, you know, the French and the British and the Germans, those guys know how to murder, you know, in, you know, when I say the British, I mean Americans, because we got a lot of Frenchies here too, actually they say there are more Germans um, in America than any other country, but, um, but yeah, and I was looking at a, I think, I think there was a, uh, some kind of, what the hell was that? A, Oh no, it was, I think it was YouTube actually I was looking at. YouTube's bitching, ain't it? <laughs> they got everything. Before then I had to depend on um, PBS, you know. And they, they definitely beg more than they, they, they... Oh, I think I knew what I was thinking about now. Um, but I was going to say they beg more than they produce. I mean, they do produce some really good stuff, but they've slowed down like crazy lately. And, you know, nothing really educational. But I think that's what I was thinking about. Um, oh, they were saying, I was watching some show, and they were saying how, I think America is 38th in the world in terms of um, uh, science and math. I think we've sunk another 10 rungs, because we used to be 29th. We're the 29th bunch of dumbest bastards. I guess that's why the president is the way he is, you know? So, I mean, I just thought of something. My, I mean, the president is the perfect example of, of how America needs to really, we need to work on our educational system, you know? I mean, he may be a godsend, as you know, so not only is he good for, um, you know, comedic relief, you know, and just pure entertainment, Mr. Entertainment, crap, I missed it, that, that scaffold, it moved down. I don't know if you could see it now, see how it's lower? And uh, those guys are crazy. <laughs> I swear to God, trusting their lives to those little thin ropes. I you know, wonder what their families think. What the hell is that? A damn a boat? But, um, but yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, um, so what I was thinking, because I'm terrible at math, and I, I love math, though, but um, it's like the people that teach it, they're dumb bastards. <laughs> You know, they, they're good at it, but they don't really know why they're good at it, you know, and um, because they're, it just comes natural to them, you know, it's easy for them. So, you know, they, they can't they can't say, well, this is what I had to do. I had to do this, this, and this to improve in math, you know. So I remember when I uh, went back to college, when I was, um, you know, I won't say ages, but, um, but I, I remember I had to, you have to take this test, and I sucked. I sucked miserably. And I, I think I was good at math in the 10th grade. I was catching on to algebra, things like that. But, um, but I, I think I may have played hooky one too many days, and I fell behind. And uh, I remember my teacher telling me that, uh, wow, you, you know, you're really doing good. You catch on. Yeah, I, was, I said, wow. That's actually when I was in that class, I said, how the fuck? I don't know. I'm, I don't know how to do math. I'm a dumbass. What? How the hell am I understanding this? And then I remember when the teacher said that. He said, "Oh yeah, you know, you, you know, you should do well." Okay, that's not what he said. He said, "You're a dumbass. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my class." No, I'm just kidding. He said, "You know, well, you know, you're pretty good." And I and I was thinking to myself, I think if I thought then the way I do now. I would probably say, yeah, I don't know how the hell that happens. You know, I'm terrible. I'm a dumbass. I'm terrible at math. But, um, um, damn, wow, 30 minutes already. Um, yeah, most of this was, like, this is going to go for like another 30 minutes. I can't shut up. I swear to God. You know, I, and, and I haven't even been reading that much, which I really should. 
a lot more than I have been. I guess I've been reading other people's papers for like, what the hell is that, six hours a day? That torturous crap. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, um, I hope none of those people see this video. But yeah, um, what the hell was I thinking about? Oh, oh yeah, um, improving America in the educational system. Um, so what I was thinking was that, like, they should have, like, you know, when you're watching your favorite television show, they should have, like, mathematical equations, you know, so just like, you know, you know how they have, like, the, the, the you know, the television channel sometimes that you're watching in the, like, the lower right-hand corner or upper right-hand corner or something like that, like TV 14 or stars, you know, I mean, they should have you know, a, um, like a mathematical equation just sitting there, maybe like in the opposite, in the upper right-hand corner and the uh, uh, left-hand corner, or lower left-hand corner, you know, and um, maybe even show operations just constantly so the human brain will get used to looking at it, you know, just used to looking at, you know, um, beta and, 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 and you know, and, and alpha and, and, and all that, you know, what those symbols mean, you know, and, um, you know, those that, that look like ridiculous cues and sign and cause, you know, you know, cosine and crap like that, you know, and just have like mathematical equations just sitting there. So people will be a bit more educated, just like just naturally educated. So people can talk about mathematical equations just as easily as they talk about, um, you know, Donald Trump or 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 uh, the Kardashians, you know. But because we're dumb bastards and we really rather kill, they won't do that. Nobody will think about that, you know. And it doesn't. It won't have to cut in. But I think it should be mandatory that, you know, like during commercials, um, they, sh they should, you know, the same commercials should be allowed. But maybe another thirty seconds or maybe even a minute should be allowed for, um, like Bill Nye the Science Guy or any damn body, Raj Raj. Um, Naprin, that guy that you know, that guy that, that that Wall Street guy that they said was doing insider trading, have him do from prison, you know, have him do uh, mathematical equations. He's a smart guy. Okay, he wasn't smart enough to get away with insider trading, but um, but I mean he he can talk about it. So this is how you do insider trading, you know, and not go to prison. Don't just don't do the go to prison part show people how to trade stocks and bonds and um and i think was that what i was thinking about um and 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 how to you know how to conduct options trading i i, I was going to be a stockbroker at one point you know because you know i know what you guys are thinking you know at 19 i've been doing a lot and yes yes i have um but, um, and I remember we had to take this class because, like, I was working for this company called Gaines Berlin. It was really bitching, really cool. Just that you hate the people that you're working with because they're a bunch of goddamn snakes, you know. And, um, and, and so, but I, I, I made it as far as a stockbroker trainee. And, um, and uh, I, I don't know, you have to buy this book. Bastard sell you this book for 400 bucks. I said, shit, I could have, I could have bought a lot of ice cream and little Debbie's cake with that and um, and, uh, and then the, it's like a study book so you can pass what is that your series 7 license and uh, your series 63 license I don't know if you know people that have gone into it and they seem not to like it but I mean I, when I was doing it I remember I thought it was a shit load of fun you know you just calling people all over the country from New York to Hawaii you know, so, and, um, you know, and by time zone, and, um, and, and some, some of these people that you, that you listen to, that you hear, I remember some of the secretaries, these women had such voices, man, I swear to God, this, this is one female, man, I messed up, I should have, I should have pocketed that, because what do they call those things, lead cards, I should have pocketed that one, I don't know, I didn't have any balls there. I was gonna think about calling her back and asking her to marry me because her voice, her voice was so sweet and sexy and soothing. I said I could marry, I could listen to that voice forever. I swear to God, that was the most wonderful voice I've ever heard. I mean, 
is, I've heard other women, because I must call like, I don't know, 400 people a day, if not more. And um, they were, you know, you'd hear women with really pretty voices, nice voices, but just one. I, 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 I should have, I should have, I should have stalked her and found her and married her. And yeah, she's probably, I was thinking, that maybe she was a big fat pig though. But who the hell cares with that voice? I would have worshipped her, even if she was a big fat pig. I would have gotten rich, we would have had, you know, we would have had the perfect American dream, the white picket fence, and, um, you know, everybody would have been pointing and laughing, you know, so, but it's probably why she got hired, though, because she had that killer voice, you know, but I, I imagine that she'd probably be really beautiful, maybe a beautiful big fat pig, <laughs> but um, what the hell, to have a nice face, nice voice, but just don't take your clothes off. No, just kidding. I know what you're thinking. It's terrible. And terrible sexist pig. Isn't everyone? I was listening to Howard Stern this morning. He was talking about Delphine. I think I saw that damn fool on YouTube. And uh, I was wondering what the hell happened to her. And uh, I don't know the videos, though, because I forgot. I think she was in the news one time. Um, and I said, you know, let me check this out. It's really cool to see what these nutty people are doing. I think she's got like a million views or some crap like that. And uh, a million, yeah, a million views and a million subscribers, or 10 million subscribers or something. And uh, so Howard Stern was talking about how she, um, she, she was selling her dirty bath water you know, and um, to guys for thirty dollars, you know, like a jar, thirty dollars for like a jar of it, and she said it like sold out immediately, and uh, and he was talking about how 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 disgusting men are, you know. So uh, yeah, that's just to you know to um, to cover myself, you know. And I was talking about the woman with the beautiful voice. She's like a fat pig, but I'd marry her anyway, you know, because, you know, men are pigs. We're disgusting pigs. You know, we buy your bath water for $30 a jar. So, you know, what the hell can you expect from us? And, um, yeah, because I think another nail in the coffin of men, I'm, 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 I'm utterly ashamed to be a man, you know, for various reasons, but, um, if I was a woman, forget about it, I'd be a lesbian man. I don't know what the hell women see in us, you know? And uh, I think they, um, when Governor Chris Christie, no, no, Christy Todd Whitman, not Chris Christie, uh, um, cause he's a fat pig too, <laughs> lying bastard. I remember when that bastard got into office, he was saying, I think it was Corzine he was running against, I think, I think didn't he? I think they arrested Corzine for corruption or some crap like that inside of trading. They're all corrupt dogs. But um, but he was saying, I remember he was saying all this crap about um, Corzine. Oh, this guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. When I get in there, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So when he gets in there, lying dog, he says, oh, we didn't know it was that bad. You know, so we ain't going to do shit. Ha ha. <laughs> but we're elected. Um, so we're gonna get free money and get richer, haha, ha, you sucker bastards, we ain't gonna do shit for you. We're gonna raise your taxes and raise the tolls and raise everything <laughs> so I can give myself a raise and be rich forever and you're gonna be poor forever, haha. Uh -huh. um, yeah, sorry, I'm ranting again. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. And um, yeah. So, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, men in Delphine and her dirty bath water. I wonder if I could do that. I wonder if I could sell my dirty bath water. I mean, sometimes I don't take baths for days. And let me tell you, it leaves a terrible soap scum. But, um, but Stern was saying how, um, I don't know whether he said it was true or not, or whether he was just saying it in jest, you know. I don't know what the hell that means, saying it in jest. But, uh, or just bullshitting, I guess. Yeah. And he should have just said that. Um, or I should have just said that. Um, that he, they were, some guys were drinking the dirty bath water. Some guys were pleasuring themselves to the bath, dirty bath water. And some guys were vaping with the dirty bath water. I think I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Crap. But, um, but yeah. 
Let me see, there's a little birdie up. Oh, now I can see my stuff. There's a little birdie up there looking down. I think it's the CIA spying on me. They're trying to see what I'm eating, so then they'll cut it out because everything that I like to eat, the bastards cut out and they don't make it anymore. So, like Snyder's, the pretzel company, they used to make cheddar ale. So it's like, you know, you have your beer and your and your pretzels you know that's badass you have your beer and your pretzels so you don't have to like go to a bar you can walk down the street and get shit face you know legally because what are they gonna do you know here you, you're drinking you're eating you know beer so sorry so you're going to prison these people walking around with these damn dogs they need to ban these damn dogs <laughs> i know what you're thinking but people don't they don't want to clean up behind their, their dogs you know, and it seems like there are more of them than there ever was before. Because they, they, you know, where's this goddamn pooper scooper? I don't see any pooper scooper. He's gonna shit, let that dog shit. Even the ones that clean it up, though, they, um, they still leave like shit smear every place. You walk into Park Slope, especially by like the pros like, near Prospect Park. Oh my God, there's like every block, you know, there's, those homes, they're like several million dollars. And you see shit smear all up and down the street. You know, it's like, what the fuck's the matter with you people? So, oh no, I have to have my, what they call those bastards, my, my, my moron dog, because I'm a stupid fuck. And, but you have to put up with my dog shit. I don't want to clean up behind my dog shit. You know, so ha ha, you have to clean up. You have to step in it and take it into your house and take it into your car. You know, miserable dogs, man. Just people are garbage. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, um, I love dogs, though. I swear to God, I love dogs. I love cats, you know. I think, um, you know, if I, when I get filthy rich, like, off of YouTube, because a few miserable bastards would subscribe. Uh, I mean, a few nice people would subscribe. Then I'll take, I, I, I swear to God, I'll buy me a 300,000-acre farm and just let dogs and cats run free like maniacs, you know, so... Um, yeah, nobody wants to sit next to me. Bastard is coming up. The other guy, everybody else is sitting next to me. Do I look that bad? Shit. Wait, what? The fucking, fucking empty fucking seat there. What? What? I wonder if they could hear me. Well, uh, look, people are, the people are sitting next to that crazy lady over there. At least they were. I couldn't tell she was crazy at first. Good, good thing I didn't. Good thing I didn't. Oh, maybe, sorry. You have to be politically correct. I she's mentally challenge. I, I believe in uh, political correction. I swear to God, because it's like we're, we're such garbage, and and if any little thing the human brain clicks on, uh, 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 you know, uh, grips onto, or grabs onto, if it's bad, especially, you know, we seem to gravitate toward bad. Why the hell is that damn thing just sitting? There? I swear to God, it's just it's eyeballing. I think it's a drone, a bird drone. Um, but yeah, it's like our brains will just lock on. Look at this shit. I think I'm going to beat my record of 45 minutes. I wonder if I can go for four hours straight of, um, of this shit. And, um, <laughs> just yakking. But, um, but yeah, um, what the hell was I just thinking about? I wonder if I could just sit here. Oh, crap. I wanted to try, I think it's too late, though. No, it was 10 o'clock when I, uh, Where's that other? I, that, I don't want to stop the video now. When I when I came out of that place, so I can't be. In, I've been here for 45, almost 44.37. The hell am I talking about? 44 minutes and 30, oh, 43 seconds now. Uh, and um, looks like a top of a little castle there. See the little? I don't know if you can see it up there. But yeah, um, let's see. How the hell did I get on Delphine from? from um, educating America, but, um, but yeah, oh, you know, so, um, the other thing I was thinking, you know, other countries could do that, and all the thing they have to do is uh, trade on the, the world markets, they can trade on the Japanese market, on the, you know, like people in Africa, and uh, especially people, you know, because, I mean, everybody's got a cell phone, that's all you need, then you can do, like, an online bank account with practically every, every, um, every bank has online banking, 
you know, and um, although I wouldn't trust them completely, you know, and maybe you can hide your money in the Cayman Islands and Swiss accounts and things like that. Yeah, look at that little bastard. His head, little heads up. And, um, you know, like even in rural areas in China, you know, and uh, in India, you know why nobody comes up with that? You know, and then it's like so many people will, will, will you know, end up trading that uh, like when the stock market crashes, like you wouldn't feel it. It's kind of like, you know, when GM went out of business, you know, any company, any major company that goes out of business, you know, the, I mean, America, you have so many, you know, the, the, the economy is so robust, you know, it's not like it was years ago, you know, like back in the early 1900s. See, that's why we have to get rid of like, you know, these dopey racists, you know, because all they want to do is be racist, you know, and um, they don't really understand how the world works, just as long as they can get somebody to work for them for free. Let me tell you, if you fly that Confederate flag, sorry, you're going to have to get a job, you lazy bastards. And I say, oh, it's my heritage, it's my heritage to be a lazy dog, you know. You're not going to get black people to work for free for you. You're going to have to get off your lazy asses and get a job. Start trading stocks and bonds, you dumb bastards. You know, I mean, really, you dumb bastards. I'm talking about, like, China and Africa. I mean, I mean according to statistics, 40% of white Americans in this country, 88% of the population are on welfare. And, and, you know, it's like, I mean, Europe doesn't want you. And so Trump's talking about go back to where you came from. Nobody, those countries, whether it's from a European country, Africa or China, those countries don't want you back. You know, the Middle East, because they had enough of their own problems. You know, they probably emptied out their damn prisons. Well, actually, that's what um, Europe did, because according to statistics, according to historical records, um, you know, the British Empire, they were telling, they were paying people, I think, to come to America, you know, because the peasants, like, get the fuck out of here, you, 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 you peasant dogs, you know, you have no ideas, you have no money, you know, it's like, what the hell do we need you for? You know, I think, plus they say, hey, we got our slaves anyway, we don't have to pay them, you know, and um, so, but, but that's, you know, I mean, that's, that, that, that's serious sickness, you know, to think, when you think about it, to think that, you know, it's okay to, to make people work for you and not give them anything. You know, I mean, imagine where the world would be, not just America. You know, I mean, all those, that 40% of white people that are on welfare in America, imagine if they would have just paid the slaves, you know, to, to a, a, a fair wage you know, not treated them like shit. Do you know where we would be now? 40% of you lazy dogs wouldn't be on welfare because you'd have a different perspective. You know, you'd have a, a, a robust perspective of do a good day's work. You know, you say that now, oh yeah, no, no, the, you know, the, the, the blacks don't want to work, but you know, but then you'll turn around and say, the blacks are taking our job. Oh, the blacks don't want to work. Oh, the blacks are taking our jobs. Oh, the blacks are only 12% of the population. We cannot take your jobs, you lazy dogs. <laughs> so get off your fucking asses. Get a job. I'm telling black people to get a job and 40% of your own welfare. Are you crazy? People are garbage. And, and, and get a job. <laughs> you know? Trade stocks, you miserable dogs. I mean, really, but, um, but yeah, but, but we'd be so much further. Damn, I missed that plane. I guess changed their mind about hitting the World Trade Center again, or that building on 59th Street. But yeah, um, but yeah, I, I mean, even those lazy dogs, if they saw, you know, um, the, if they saw, um, you know, um, it's probably why they have all that time to go marching, you know, and promote racism because they have no jobs you know? and, um, you know, and, 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 and and but if they were to put um, these educational you know type of things on every show every show whether it's Martha Stewart living you know the, the Wendy Williams show the Howard Stern show you know um, even though just talk about physics and mathematics you know, put the idea in people's heads to love education instead of loving racism, you garbage, 
garbage dogs. But um, and then move the planet away from. But they should do this in every country, though. Move the planet away from garbage dog. You know, move the planet. Oh, wow, fifty minutes. <laughs> move the planet towards doing something decent. You garbage dogs, stop being selfish dogs. I mean, that's what the British tried to do because the reason that the British needed enlightenment and the Renaissance is because they were garbage dogs then. You know, when they were all the same. You know, they're all the same people, and they treat each other like garbage dogs. So it's like, you know, it's, it's really not a black and white issue. It was just made a black and white issue in America because it was convenient for the rich. You know, some guy, just like, just like the, some guy made these buildings, some guy came up with, uh, you know, the idea of the stock market, and they say, let's, let's pitch, let's pit the blacks against the whites. Oh, let me see if I can catch that plane. Oh, I caught the tail end of it. Hope it's not coming this way. Yeah, you know, yeah, shit, that just reminds me. This place is dangerous being in New York. Somebody's gonna try and terrorize us. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna tell you a little secret though. Those terrorists, they're, they're big pussies. They, they, they can't touch America. We are the OGs. We are the original gangsters of terrorism. We terrorize everybody because we're European. I'm European, you're European, you know, and um, European, not you're, you know, like you're a, a pissing, you're a pissing. <laughs> but, uh, okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, it's like these guys have been, listen, the British, have, they, they terrorized their own kind. I, I, went, I went to the London dungeon when I was in England and I, when I went on the London summer program with Brooklyn College, and um, I, so I went to the London Dungeon, and and in in England, I mean, they did this throughout Europe, though, you know, in every country, and um, they um, that where I mean, they're all white people, you know, they're all Brits, but um, you, they would put you in prison, they put you in debtors' prison because they were scumbags, you know, but um, um, because they were just garbage. They said though before the Roman Empire was created and um, they were um, they were um, the the um, the world whenever the debt would get too high they said that um, they would just say okay all all debt is forgiven you know and uh, and let's start from zero you know, that's when people were a little smarter you know but they said when the Roman Empire came to be they said no a debt is a debt you know, and, and we're going to put you in debtor's prison, you know. And I guess that's why the Roman Empire is shit now, <laughs> you know. And I, I always ask Italian people, so whatever happened, why don't you call yourselves Romans anymore? Why do you call yourselves Italians? And they just tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> they don't want to address this shit. But, uh, but I had one of my professors, though, said that he, was, he wrote this book called Astoria. You know, it's really kick-ass. I was reading it. It has no periods. It has no punctuations. I swear to God. I was wow. Everybody left. I um, I, I I was reading it, and because it has no periods or punctuations, I think I was reading maybe like ten pages of it. I swear to God, I felt smarter. And uh, but he was he's telling us in the class about how um, in the town that his that his family came from. I forgot what town it was in Italy, but he said the reason that they left because they were all garbage and they treat, they're all Italians, you know, all white people, and they treat each other like garbage, you know, and um, like if you were, before you got married, the governor of the town, he came down and he has to have sex with your wife first, you know, before you do. So that means that all these kids that are running around, they're all related, you know, because the fathers, the, the firstborn kid, the fathers are... You know, possibly this he's the, he's their father. So if they meet, you know, with the same father, different mothers, but you know that DNA is going to be too close. You know, and uh, and this wasn't like back in Roman times. That this is like he was saying, you know, maybe two or three generations ago or something like that. And uh, he said, like, when his family came here, because he said when he was a kid, he wanted to know more about the old country. And he said his family, they didn't want to talk about the old country. They said they just wanted to forget that sick shit that those sick bastards were doing, you know, back there. That's, that's one good thing about, but this is why I really promote no privacy. You know, we got to keep an eye on everybody. You can't trust people. People are not to be trusted, I'm telling you. And when you're in office like that, when you're in office, yeah, yeah, one eye got one eye's got to come out, and a camera's got to go in that eye. You know, and then you have to have 
you have to have 360. You have to have 360 eyes. Or, you know, you have to watch you every minute. And you have to have someone watching. You have to have around the clock watchers, you know, to make sure those cameras don't go dead. So, you know, so it, because somebody's going to come in and pay you. Well, I don't know. Who the hell knows? They, these people be, could be getting um, threatened by mobsters, you know, of various types, you know, because um, you don't know what's happening when they're alone. So it's, it's, their, it's for their protection and it's for the protection of the people that they're supposed to be representing. So those guys got to be watched. All congressmen, if you're an elected official, you got to be watched. If you're a judge, you got to be watched you know every day but I think everybody needs to be watched but we need to start there we need to start with watching all politicians congressmen senators presidents you gotta be watched and and everybody should be able to tune in to your channel to your frequency it should be a free channel over three you can pick up any Wi-Fi device or any cellular uh, cellular device like you can call you can call um, 311 uh, 911 even if your cell phone doesn't work you know even if you don't have like cellular service but that's the way it should be it should be you know 811 your congress you know any congressman to watch those dogs you know getting rich you know doing deals I, you know I mean I, I don't I don't begrudge anybody making money as long as it's legal you know as long as you're not hurting the population but these garbage dogs they're they're doing things and letting garbage dogs like corporations and things get away with murder you know they're letting them you know um um they're letting them pollute the air they're letting them pollute the water they're letting those pharmaceutical companies oh you know those pharmaceutical companies are just raping everybody because they let them put out drugs that um that um that are no good that'll give you cancer they let the cigarette companies do whatever they want you know and then they're making oh yeah oh we're gonna stop cigarette advertising we're gonna stop all this all that i was actually talking to a guy the other day about how i think i mentioned it before in another video how um you know that if they, they are so alcohol is legal cigarettes are legal but marijuana is is illegal but doctors prescribe marijuana for cancer patients, for people with stress, post post traumatic stress disorders, things like that, they don't they don't they don't prescribe beer and alcohol. They don't prescribe cigarettes, but yet they let this stuff you know go on the market. You know, it's like they don't prescribe Little Debbie's cakes. You know, I think that crap should be illegal also, and soda and all these crap. Because I went to I remember in Europe, you, you can't find Drake's cakes, you can't find Little Debbie's cakes because they don't allow that garbage because they know it's trash, and um, you know they have healthier junk food than we do. And actually, I think they said, is it is it? I think Europe. They're saying that our chocolate is only 10% chocolate because the chocolate lobbies, they don't want to put in. So most of it is like slurry, you know, nuclear waste. Because just like they were saying, um, like um, McDonald's and Burger King and all those countries, uh, all those countries, companies, they put um, the same thing that they make rubber mats out of. They put that in, um, they put that in the, like the buns, you know, the, the you know, the, the, um, yeah, the buns that, um, that um, that they use to that they use to make um, you know the, your, your food you know so you, you can use your your bread as an exercise mat or you can eat your exercise mat you know and the the Congress the Food and Drug Administration these companies they, they have millions and billions of dollars they yeah you know they, I mean, they don't even give them a lot of money that's how you know these people are garbage. Oh, they move the scaffold back up. I mean, they give them like twenty five hundred bucks, and then they let them ruin people's lives. Just garbage, garbage. So that's why they need to be watched. That's why everyone needs to be watched. And 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 I mean, I can't say it enough. The President Obama, he stopped those dogs, those Congress dogs, from inside a trader. Those dogs were breaking the law. You know why they were doing inside a trade? Because they make the law. They made the law that said that. The average citizen can't do inside a trade. Like they, they, that guy, Raj Raj Rapnet, or whatever the hell his name is, they just got him for inside a trader. But congressmen can do it. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy.
congressmen can conduct inside a trade. They know when the deals are coming down because they have to approve the deals. And those dogs approve the deals. They know it's going to go down and they conduct inside a trade. So, I mean, you let them get away with this. You let them get away with giving themselves raises. They give them, they vote themselves raises and they do nothing. Those garbage dogs, they were doing inside a trade. I mean, they were doing steroids in baseball. Who the fuck cares about steroids and baseball, you garbage dogs? When 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 we're 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 burning through ten billion dollars a month in in in, in um, I was gonna say Vietnam, in the Middle East, in Iraq, ten billion a month. But this is why people are garbage in this country, on this planet, because nobody's saying anything. You know, those those garbage dogs with the Confederate flag, they don't care. They're getting their welfare checks, you garbage dogs, you Confederate welfare dogs. They're getting their welfare checks, so they don't care. You know, they say, oh no, all black people are on welfare. No, you garbage dogs. You garbage dogs are on welfare because you don't want to work. You vow that the South is going to rise again, so you ain't getting no job. You're just going to wait until the South rises again, you welfare garbage dogs. Get a job. Get a job, you welfare dogs. Stop. T stop. Taxpayers, we're paying for those Confederate welfare racist dogs. That money's coming out of your pocket, you dogs. So, you know, get a job, dogs. Get a job. And so we don't have to pay your welfare crap. You probably, they probably have to pay a trillion dollars a year for your welfare dogs. Think you're trying to make it hard for black people. You welfare dogs taking all that money, getting you some free money, living in, you don't even have running water and electricity. Now, you welfare dogs that won't even see this video because you don't have electricity. Garbage. Your brain doesn't even work properly. You're just garbage. Okay. <laughs> Did I say that enough? I, I can't, you really can't say that enough. I mean, nobody talks about that. Those welfare garbage dogs taking all that money, not contributing to the tax base and talking about other people taking America's money. You ain't American. You, you fly that you fly that garbage welfare flag. You welfare Confederate dogs. Don't fly the welfare flag. You're, you're, you're treasonous dogs. You should be stripped of your citizenship. You dogs, you fly that welfare flag, you should be stripped of your citizenship. And talk about other people. Talk about black people. Oh, you know, they're, they're disrespecting the flag. How is that disrespecting the flag if, if you're not disrespecting? You're, you're, the, you're the biggest disrespecter of the of of the American flag. You fly that treasonous dog flag. You went against America. You treasonous welfare dogs. Get a job, dogs, or get out. Go back to your shit countries that kill each other all the time. Well, that's the reason that we have all of this, because this came from murdering. Because you, and back in merry old England and France and Germany, you didn't have this. You, you, you know what you know this came from? Because you, in, you engaged in intensity in killing other white people. You sick dogs, and now you want to you want to try and do the same thing to black people. But that's what the world needs to understand. Don't take it personally, like when a white person says something bad to you or says something racist. It's what they did to each other, though. They can't help it, you know. So today, when we have this, these racial divides, it's because they they're using human nature. They don't care if they weren't if, if if white people weren't going after black people, they'd be going after each other. Same thing. You go to Africa, they're killing each other in Africa. You go to China, they're killing each other in China. You go to the Middle East, they're killing each other. They they kill more of they kill more of their their their, their own kind than they kill people from Israel. So it's like people are garbage. People are garbage. I'm telling you, I don't care where you go. I don't care. That's why. That's why England is going through Brexit now because they couldn't get along since time in memoriam, and now they can't get along with their European partners today. That's why you know. So, how are they going to get along with black people? How are they going to get along with um, uh, people from uh, uh, you know black people in America? How they just can't. And they can't get along with Chinese people because Chinese people can't get along with each other. So black and white people can't get along because white people don't get along with white people. And Africans don't get along with other Africans. Um, Middle Eastern people don't get along with other Middle Eastern people. So we're all garbage. But, uh, oh, what the hell is going on over here? Let's see.
you know, I can't get it. I'm not, I can't get the flashing lights. But that's the bottom line, though. We're all garbage, you know, no matter what. Holy shit, I can't believe this thing's going on for this long. <laughs> And, but I'm still, I, I'm still, I, I want to, I think that's why we desperately need education. We desperately need education now. And, oh shit, what the hell's going on here? Oh, looks like they're going, where are they going? I can't see. It's really blurry, I should have, let me see, did I bring, I think I brought the other one. Let's see, okay, I'm getting tired now of yakking. All right, all right, so, uh, um, yeah. Think about it, assholes. Bye.